So what is this tutorial about? Well, basically this information has been used online quite a bit. I'm not creating, you know, I'm not reinventing the wheel here. I'm just um, basically creating, um, putting all the information into one place. And that's the whole point of these uh, tutorials. I'm putting everything into one place uh, to hopefully help, help you guys. And uh, that way you, you don't have to go around looking on all these different sites online for information. Uh, and you can just find everything you want here because I've done uh, you know all the leg work and then hopefully your life should be made easier and you can still learn everything the same hopefully a lot quicker so with that with that said I'm gonna close counter-strike here um, and um, actually I'm gonna close the hack first because I don't want to be running it now so that's that there just a quick video check um, and uh, the first thing that we want to do uh, is close the game so that's that there so again do a quick check here close the game here we'll reopen it again in a second what if I go here onto my library check out some of my games uh, which I never play anyway so if we go here we've got counter-strike source we if you want to enable the console so if you have the steam version you have to to do it through this uh, so you go properties and you'll see set launch options click on that and then press uh, dash console and that's all that means is it enables the console in game we'll use that to do a couple of things um, so we enable the console which is fine press close get off that um, and that's that should be fine so let's run um, counter strike again and that's how we're going to start getting our information then. so get rid of that all right all right so what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you how to gather information with Oli Debug. Well, not so much. I'm going to show you how to gather, uh, you know, the information that we need uh, for this game. So, um, where is Oli? Let's try and find Oli. Let's move this over here a little bit. Hopefully, everything's still fine. Uh, Oli, where's there's Oli? So I'm going to do here Oli Debug. Run it. Um, if you want to know a bit more more about Oli, look for. Uh, my older Oli Debug tutorials, I've got quite a few and they should hopefully be quite helpful to you. So you want to go here, File, Attach as usual and you want to look for Half-Life 2, HL2 there it is, so as you can see it's Team Apps Common, Counter-Strike Source, Half-Life 2 so double, well don't double click, press Attach I guess uh, and then just wait a couple of seconds because it, it, it's a little bit annoying as usual guys I'm recording my entire desktop screen so things do get a bit slower so first thing you want to click is press play here because the game the game is um, pauses itself once all the debugs attached now the next thing you have to do is we're going to set up our environment so we can easily uh, mess around with um, so we can easily mess around with the game and we can have as much time as we want to do our thing so create server you want to go here you want to go map I ch I, ch I normally tend to, to choose uh, the dust 2 which I like it's a nice map I go include CPU bot players I you can put any number here put at least one uh, I'm going for eight follow me if you like I think it'll make things easier and um, game here you don't really want to change anything on game and then CPU player options you want to take bots uh, join after a player joins and you want to take everything else so they don't have any weapons or anything like that and then you want to go bots join team counter terrorists make sure you have that because that will make sure that we have unlimited time for the game and then we press start so we load our world and start a new game and then the game gets paused for some stupid reason which I don't understand you don't see many games doing this but whatever just keep pressing play here I think it's F7 or whatever to skip through this um, all right. Uh, shift F7. So press Shift F, F Shift F7 if you get in this as well. It it all it is is breakpoints being toggled in um, in uh, Oli Debug, which I don't know why they're being toggled. I don't think I set them at any point, but just this will only happen once or twice, so don't worry about that. Uh, as soon as we we're done with this, we'll close Oli Debug and get get out of the way. Um, so all we're gonna find out now. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Alright. I think we're good to go. Is that right? No. Nope. Almost there. There you go. Alright, so team that you want to choose is the same team you set to um, 
So choose Counter-Strike Forces basically, don't choose Terrorists because then the game will, will end once the time ends. So the reason why we did all this stuff is that as you can see here there's a timer at the bottom at 450 and what that means is that um, once the timer runs out because we have two players on, um, on Counter-Terrorists the game won't end which is what we want. Oh shit, sorry, uh, I'm not supposed to press Tab in game because it triggers a breakpoint as well. So I'm, I'm going to make sure not to press Tab. I'll probably do it anyway because I'm an idiot. Anyways, so we're here in game, and what we want to start by doing is going to Wally Debug. So I guess we don't really need to be paying attention to the game right now. So go here, click on Executable Modules, and we're going to find the client.dll. The client.dll is where most of our information that we care about in this game is stored. Um, so click on Path here just to align things for us. You want to look for client.dll, count strike bin. There it is. So as you can see here, it says strike bin client.dll. So double click there and we go into uh, our client DLL information. That's where everything is being stored such as our player structures and a bunch of other information. So we click here, right click, search for all reference text strings. And what this will grab is all the strings that it finds in, in um, I guess it's in the CPU processes and it grabs all this information as you can see here you've got local player this, change class, all this information and that's normally how you find offsets. You search for things like health or you know uh, teams and that's how you find this information and you can figure out how far is it away from the client or DLL module so um, what we do now is uh, so we selected that we search for it. yeah so what we want to search for is the word health so search for the word health so ignore what was just there that was from the previous thing make sure you don't have it case sensitive so untick that and search for health so oops what happened there not sure what happened there actually. Did I double click something by accident? I'm just going to do that again quickly. Um, 